and moving right along places us in the warm company of Dr. Badrul Khan. This mastermind of Khan's digital world is a consultant, an author, and a world-recognized speaker. Today, Dr. Khan's guest of honor is Payal Vadhani, who's a partner in Aronson. Let's hear this dialogue. Welcome to Khan's Digital World. I'm Badrul Khan. Today, I would like to discuss cybersecurity. As you all know, all transaction activities that are due online and our information, our data are stored in service providers, computers or servers. And this data could be used right to which will benefit us if they are abused or did not use right, then they can harm us. Like all our belongings and assets at home, we put them in safe and secure place. How about information, especially critical information about us when you're doing banking, e-filing, taxes, buying, selling online. How about all the information that have our profiles, our preferences, how this information are used, we don't know. So we wanted to see that can we really become knowledgeable about how to secure this information about us. With that in mind, I have a wonderful guest who is a cyber security subject matter expert. Uh, she is Payal Badani. And welcome, Ms. Badani here. And Thank you, Badani. call her Payal. And so please share with us how severe the security issue is for us and also what are the organization and individuals can do and is there a way to protect us? Thank you. Absolutely. So Dr. Khan, we're living in a very exciting time, right? Um, all of the technological advances and the innovations permeate into every aspect of our life. So be it online banking, buying cars, buying um, clothes on the internet, we use a credit card information. And cyberspace has now become a breeding ground for criminals, activists, uh, just or individuals who are you know, making to use um, as much as possible in terms of stealing digital data. And uh, we need to really secure this space. Um, you know, US in economy is based on innovation. All of our infrastructure is based on business processes, and it's very, very important for us and for the government to really secure this critical data. So this mammoth task of helping us secure all of the critical infrastructure lies with the US Department of Homeland Security. Uh, DHS has a pres presidentially mandated mission uh, to secure government agency as, as well as the critical infrastructure of the country. And, and let me tell you, it's not an easy task. Right, so a lot of the information is, is very, very open. Uh, there's a lot of concerns about data privacy, and, and that is what the DHS is really helping us with. Uh, now, you know, when you talk about private companies, it's a whole other conversation because private companies are not equipped to deal with the, the level and you know, just the sophistication of attacks that are happening these days. So the private companies are thinking about it completely differently than as, as in federal agencies or larger organizations. Well, the uh, private organization and federal agency, they have enough funding to protect themselves. As just uh, a citizen, how should I protect myself? So I think we have to follow a lot of cyber hygiene. So I start with as basically as securing your password, right? So if you have multiple accounts online, either in banks or on Amazon or any other retailer's website, make sure that you are resetting your password every couple of days. Also, if you have uh, security products on your laptop like McAfee or any other antivirus software, make sure that they're updated. Make sure your laptop is patched to the latest version of the operating system that's been released by the provider. And just make sure that you know, you're very, very careful about credit card transactions as you are conducting you know, your business online. So any other technologies out there that either federal agencies or corporations or individual can use uh, to protect themselves from these cyber attacks? 
So uh, let's let's separate them out, right? So from the federal agencies, there are a myriad of different technology security products that they use. And a lot of it is based on intelligence gathering. So the threat ve attack vectors out there, there's a lot of information available on them. But there are also zero-day attacks that are happening. And zero-day attacks are about 550 odd scripts written on a daily basis that we have absolutely no you know, information about. So this threat intelligence gathering from uh, you know, the government has led to a lot of analysis, a lot of uh, security providers are using that information to really beef up the security products. At an individual level, uh, is not as much about technology, it's just following cyber hygiene. So as I mentioned previously, reset your password, make sure your security products are up to date, and then make sure that all of your laptops are patched and uh, just uh, maintain account information in a very secure manner. Do not write down passwords, do not digitally save passwords as it's very easy to hack into your laptop or your personal computer. So always keep them in mind and uh, make sure you're following these basic rules. Oh, I think that's a great advice and people understand that. Um, however, uh, have you encountered any situation uh, you know, lately that really concern you the most? Absolutely, and it's a great question, Badrul. So um, I was having dinner one night um, with my family and I got a frantic call for a friend of mine. And he's like, Pyle, we're in this very deep crisis situation. So I asked him, what's going on? And he was like, they're a week away from uh, an acquisition deal and all of their acquisition data and financial data has gotten encrypted. And the perpetrators are asking for a ransom for the decryption key just to give it back. Now this is happening because they did not have backups in place and uh, they didn't have a choice but to pay the ransom. And it was in the thousands of dollars, right? It was not a few hundred dollars. So I think that helps us understand the importance of backups in mid-sized companies and how this can really uh, you know, uh, have a huge impact on corporations and, and private companies in general. Well, thank you for sharing that. Well, that's all we have for today. So I wish you have a wonderful, safe and secure cyber spacing. And I will see you next time with another episode of Khan's Digital World. Thank you for watching. Thank you.